the most painful place of the beautiful French woman is her automatic transmission. It's no secret that when buying a car, such transmissions are preferred by the vast majority of the fairer sex. But in this particular case, it would be reasonable to refuse such an option. The fact is that throughout the entire life cycle, the first generation Citroen C4 was equipped with the classic AL4, which has been infamous since 1999 for other models of the PSA concern, rarely surviving without problems at least up to 50 to 60,000 kilometers. Even with the timely replacement of an expensive valve body, the total resource of the unit is on average 100 to 110,000 kilometers due to mechanical problems. If a band brake breaks, for example, the box wedges, after which it becomes unrepairable. Typical signs of a malfunction are sharp jolts when shifting gears, then emergency mode is activated and you can only drive in third gear. Regular oil changes every 30 to 40,000 kilometers will help to somehow extend the life of the unit, despite the fact that this procedure is not officially regulated at all. Mechanical boxes also cannot be called examples of reliability and noise, but in general, apart from the indistinct fixation of the gears being switched on, they do not threaten to empty the pockets of the owners. The resource of clutch parts in urban conditions averages 100,000 kilometers, not an outstanding, but tolerable indicator. A design feature that is unpleasant for a used car is also here. As a rule, there is no control plug on the box body, by which you can check the oil level. Therefore, during repair work, it is necessary to completely drain the oil and refill the prescribed amount, 2L. A pleasant exception is only the Japanese Aizen, installed on restyled versions with 2.0 liter engines. They fully deserve the definition of work like a Swiss watch. Often, cars are already sent to a landfill, and the hands of mechanics have not yet been in these automatic machines. Engines. With the choice of power units, the situation is simpler. In fact, it comes down to gasoline 1.6 liters and 2.0 liters. From 2004 to 2008, these were TU5 and EW10A, from the C5 model, and after restyling in 2008, EP6 1.6L, 120 horsepower, and its force turbo version EP6 DT, 150 horsepower. It is wiser to refuse other options immediately. Each of them has characteristic source, but all of them have long been studied and can be corrected. Characteristics of the 1.6 liter EP6, 120 horsepower. TU5, 1.6L, 109 horsepower. A massive defect in the early batches, until 2006, was the buckling of the throttle assembly, as a result of which the engine began to idling unstably and dips appeared in transient conditions. The assembly manufacturer, Bosch, acknowledged its design flaw and all parts were replaced under warranty. A much more serious defect was a defective cylinder head, as a result of which the valves could hang in the open position and get hit by the piston, which led to costly repairs, or even to the replacement of the engine. Fortunately, this problem was also recognized as a warranty issue, so it is almost impossible to find a defective unit at the present time. Over the past 10 years they have either been repaired or have long ended up in a landfill. At the same time, the TU5 engine has a timing belt drive, traditional for that time. Therefore, when the belt breaks, the pistons hit the stuck valves, the consequences of which have already been described above. Initially, the manufacturer declared the belt resource to be replaced at 80,000 kilometers, then increased it to 120,000 kilometers, but the operating experience of the TU-5 and similar French units shows that in the Russian climate it is not recommended to exceed the belt replacement interval of 60,000. Moreover, along with the belt, it is recommended to change the pump, the resource of which is very unpredictable, but rarely experiences two belts. Current valve cover gaskets and wedge thermostats against this background look like a trifle. 1.6 liter turbocharged EP6 DT, 150 horsepower, specifications. EW10A, 2.0L, 140 horsepower. Quite a quiet motor in operation. Of the stable defects, there is also a limited resource of the water pump, about 100,000 kilometers, and periodically floating idle settings. The last defect, in addition to the revision of the throttle valve, requires adaptation of the assembly on a proprietary scanner. EP6, 120 HP, and EP6 DT, 150 HP. These 1.6 liter units, which appeared on the updated model, EP6 DT, EP6 Turbo version, developed by French engineers together with German colleagues from BMW, 
also did not prove to be examples of reliability and operational convenience, although they have more power density and lower fuel consumption. The naturally aspirated unit has an unsuccessful timing drive design, in which the chain often stretches at a run of already 50 to 60,000 kilometers, and the sprocket is fixed on the shaft without any retainer by just friction and the nut tightening torque. Even with the slight weakening of it, the meeting of valves with pistons on this motor is inevitable. The second typical defect is the failure of the valve lift control electric motor due to poor seals in the assembly. The defect is recognized as a warranty, but the main trouble here is that a cold engine, especially in winter, is almost impossible to start. We have to solve the issue of delivering the car to the service directly from the snowdrift under the window. In the early turbo versions, 2008 to 2009, one more problem was added to these problems, due to the unsuccessful design of the ventilation system. The intake ducts were covered with such a thick layer of soot literally 10 to 20,000 kilometers away that the incoming air was not enough for normal operation turbines, causing the engine to lose power dramatically. The upgraded node solved the problem far from completely. And a common characteristic feature of these engines is a rather large oil consumption for waste, more than 1L-1000 kilometers, even with the slightest wear of the CPG or a problem with the ventilation system. And the engine management program with almost any problem, first of all turns off the turbine, which leads to a sharp loss of power on the go, can you imagine this when overtaking or on a mountain serpentine? Regardless of the engine model and country of manufacture of the owner of a used first-generation Citroën C4, minor spontaneous troubles in the engine's electrical equipment may lie in wait. Either the temperature sensor will fail, then the starter will require a skillful blow to the solenoid relay, hello Ziggly then the generator will blow smoke from the burnt winding. Many of these defects are due to low resistance to water and especially winter reagents entering the nodes and sealing connectors. The TU-5 engine generator is completely defenseless. Suspension. The suspensions are similar in design simplicity and scheduled runs on the long-studied VAZ-2108. The support bearings of the front struts and the struts themselves rarely withstand more than 40 to 50,000 kilometers without claims, despite the modernization for Russian roads on copies of the Kaluga assembly. The hub bearings will most likely need to be replaced a little later, by 60 to 80,000 kilometers, but even against this background, 10 to 20,000 for anti-roll bar parts is just a shame. The rear suspension, made according to the scheme of an elastic beam, is saved from criticism only by the absolute simplicity of the design, but even there there is an unpleasant place, silent blocks that quickly lose elasticity, spoiling handling and comfort. On native, chisels, these parts change in an hour and a half, even in the most seedy service. On a second-hand first-generation Citroën C4, labor costs are such that many owners simply drive on with the wave of their hand. Steering. In steering, the weak point is the rods and their tips. You should not count on them for more than 50,000 kilometers. The rail itself, with careful driving, can stretch up to 150,000 kilometers. Brake system. A typical resource of brake pads is 25 to 30,000 kilometers. For the city, this is a normal figure, if you do not take into account that the discs have to be changed with every second set of pads. On European roads, all of the listed parts should be less troublesome, but in Russian realities one must be prepared in advance for frequent repairs. As a result, Citroën itself was forced to limit the warranty for the suspension units to 35,000 kilometers, it never came to more decisive action. The model left the assembly line. Body. There are fewer problems on the body, but they still exist. The most comical, the front plastic fenders, when strongly heated in the sun, warp so much that they begin to touch the edges of the doors when they are open. In the rain, the power windows of the doors are flooded, and in frosts, the drives of the rear door locks like to fail. The body is not subject to corrosion if it has not been subjected to handicraft repairs after an accident but stone chips on the hood like to rust. The problem with headlight washers when the assembly was transferred to Kaluga was radically solved, they were simply abolished. Where has ours gone? With frequent valve failures in the glass washer, our resourceful motorists have learned to cope on their own, just turn on the washer on both windows at the same time. So long. In the cabin, the main inconvenience was delivered by peeling steering wheels and massive failures of the electric seat heating. Due to an unsuccessful sequential switching scheme, failure of even one intermediate section entailed the disassembly of the entire system. It's good if this was done on the car you purchased during the warranty period. In addition, 
on machines of the early years of production, the actuators of the dampers and the heater quickly wore out. With sharp temperature fluctuations, a regular CD player, manufactured by Blaupunkt, may refuse to read discs, and the temperature controller in the cabin likes to perceive only extreme values. In both cases, the issue is resolved by cleaning or replacing. 